hi, good eve, good afternoon, sorry, um, it's just Damien again, um, um, this video follows up from my uh, video on Monday night, and basically about my car crash and a few other things as well, um, basically you put about the incident on Facebook about who I am, how the crash has affected me and why and what happened and how it happened and why it happened um, basically I had a few, few people mentioning me saying why didn't I go after him if you not knew you'd been hit if you know you've been hit, why didn't you go after him? Um, basically, as I've said about on this channel, that I do have Asperger's Syndrome, which takes me a while for things to sink in and to understand things as well. Um, basically, I can get upset and anxious quite easily um, and I'm not good also at face to face confrontation um, so I've had a few people messaging me saying why don't I go after him and um, basically I was panicking and I was looking out the car to see what had happened so I was just explaining the situation I've had a few people message back saying, oh, you're playing on disability. How is that? How is advising on what happened on an incident, on why you, like, on why you didn't do things that you're playing on disability? People asked, said to me, you should have gone after him. Other people would have gone after him. So I was explaining about my Asperger's syndrome and I'm not good at face-to-face -face confrontation and explaining the full situation and now I'm playing on disability. How's that? Playing on disability? Um, I have oh, I've also had people saying stuff like it's a little scratch you, you expect these incidences, you should expect these incidences, it's part of driving. Um, in my opinion, in my thoughts, why should you expect to go out in a car and get crashed by someone that drives off? And by people that don't care, people need to know how the incident has had an impact on someone. And what sort of aftermath you've left behind. You need to know about the consequences of your actions. Um, basically damage to a car is physical. But also damage to me is mental. Um, and people do need to know about the consequences of their actions. And also, in my opinion, if you're just going... If you have opinion saying it's okay, it's on your little mark... And not doing anything about it and being scared to do anything about it, people are gonna go out and drive and drive like they want and drive in and drive into people. This in return is going to put up car insurance premiums because there's gonna be more accidents on the roads and people are gonna be less careful and be more and be more careless driving. Um, so in my opinion, why should we go out and accept this? Well, if we do go out and accept this, it's just going to put our insurance up and there's going to be more incidents on the road. Um, so that's my opinion there. Also, What if it was your own 
friends or family in that car would you say the same thing to the, them um also people have are criticizing me saying what you're fighting it for and that and and it's only a little scratch and that as i said People have said don't go through insurance and that. I'm not going to go for the insurance. But I've had people saying you're not listening to our advice and that. Um, I am listening to your advice. Your advice and that does say. But don't go for the insurance and that. I'm not going for the insurance. I, For me, how I fight battles and how I have always fought fighted battles is um social through the social networks um and through social media like youtube and facebook if like this is what i'm doing now for this channel to um with disabilities and with other beliefs in that and so people say not going through insurance i am not going through the insurance but people need to be made aware of the consequences of their actions and the and because people aren't fighting and not and just accepting things more people are going to get away with this people are just scared to fight in my opinion i believe but people are scared to fight um if more people posted on Facebook, YouTube or social media in general about incidences that have happened and about what's happened in their opinion and how things have affected them people, people will be more aware and more understanding um, for me It's more about myth for me personally. It's more about making awareness and being able to fight your own f and being able to fight and not giving it and challenging your beliefs in a social role model way. Like, I used to be bullied at school because of who I am, and my personal opinion is, with bullying and regarding hate crime and beliefs, it's to make people more aware at school and from an early age. And for me, it's more about awareness and basically... fighting yeah and uh, why should you accept your car's been hit regardless of regardless of how big the damage is big or small people can't get away with it Crime is still a crime, and the driver drew off. It drove off. I've got two witnesses that seen the incident happen, and I'm willing to challenge and willing to fight, fight in this belief and cause. Um. Also, I've had another couple of comments on websites regarding my dating profile are oh, you playing on disability go on shagger prosy my profile says i've got asperger syndrome and i'm looking to date 
I've never dated before and with me I have communication issues and I struggle to understand things and when people first get to know me I get a lot more abuse and a lot more people that aren't understanding and aren't in con considerate that are inconsiderate um I'm do this to make people aware of who I am and so they get a better and gen genuine genuine understanding. I've had people message me a couple of people now message me that a pat that were in a relationship with someone and they said they said they struggled in the relationship and they split up but at the time they they weren't aware that the partner had Asperger's syndrome or autism and she said if she knew then that the, her part if they knew that they said if they knew then that the partner had Asperger's syndrome or, or autism pardon me they'd have a better understanding of what's going on and maybe they'd still be together to this day so if so because I've had emails like that if I've had emails like that Why is that playing on disability? You don't see how it is. Also, you've got disability charities throughout the United Kingdom that spread awareness about disability and about and about different beliefs. Um, surely, if I'm because I'm making awareness about myself. So people have a better understanding. Surely under my under the messages and that I've had recently, surely disability charities are more guilty of playing on disability than me. Um you've got Age UK say it's not disability, it's about age. It's a charity to help people that are all older and to make awareness of how um, age affects people. Are they, play are they playing on age? You've got Transgender charities, LGBT charities, they're playing on being transgender or because they're supporting of people like that, they're playing on being transgender or playing on being gay. You, you've got the Nash, NSPCC, National Child Protection Services, they help children in need and children that want to um, get a bit of extra help and a bit of extra support. Are they, are they playing on on being a child? You've got homeless charities that want to help homeless people I 
Are they playing on homeless people? Being homeless? You've also got charities to help people that are unemployed and to make awareness of being unemployed. Are they playing on being unemployed? He's starting to get my point now. It's just because you're trying to make awareness on how something affects you so that people have a better understanding. Why is it playing on it? Why the hell is it playing on it? People message me. I, I had put on Facebook about has anyone seen this incident on Facebook and other sites as well, like other people, like other people do. Um, some people said most non people would have drove off. Why didn't I drove off? You give an explanation of how some, of how the incident affected you. And an explanation on why you didn't didn't drive off to follow them like they advised. And, and that's playing on disability when I'm just when you told me you told me that That I should have followed him in that. There's more than one side to a story. I've given you my opinion. And my... The facts about me or why I didn't do this. And suddenly I'm playing on disability. People are saying I'm giving a sub story. I'm not giving a fucking sub story. Sorry for swearing. I'm not giving a fucking sub sub story when you've all said that I should have drove off after him, and I'm giving my explanation on why I didn't do these things, and suddenly I'm playing on disability. I don't know how to say how that playing on disability. All I'm trying to explain. And prove is that there's more than one side to every story and you need to get to know the facts before you judge a person and before you judge the situation. All I'm doing is giving you the facts before you made because you can't make you can't jump to a con conclusion without knowing all the facts. It's the same as Never trust in a book by its cover. And if I'm guilty, then I'm guilty. But please don't judge me before you know the facts. Um, as I said about the dating profile, and how I said about putting on there about being single and I'm single. I've, I, as I said, I have had people messaging me that. That if they knew that the partner had Asperger's syndrome and they had autism, they could there'd be a bit more understanding. They could be still together. So I've had people messaging me there. So what I'm going to do is leave a leave in the description a copy of the.
articles that I posted on Facebook and also a copy of my dating profile and if any professionals that work with disability charities or anyone in general would like to have a look over this um, feel free to have a look and message me I would like professional opinion on this because I don't see how me given my beliefs and given my opinions about things is wrong um, also Also, a hit and run, hit and run incidents are a crime. Um, basically, accepting a crime is also is also a crime because if someone knows about an incident and that and they have not given information to the police or anything, then that's a crime as well, in my opinion. But, as I say, um, feel free to have a look at this video and have a look at my articles. and um, would like some professional opinions. Thank you and goodbye.